Welcome to my lecture online. If you're very puzzled with the previous video, meaning the random walk seems to indicate that the more times you toss the coin, the farther away you're going to be from the origin where you started, well, seeing is believing. So what I did was I did an experiment. I'm not going to do it here because it would take a very long time, but I tossed the coin 500 times. And I kept track of how many times I got heads and how many times I got tails. Now, if we go in intervals of 50, you can see that the random walk theory uh, indicates that after 100 tries, you would be 10 steps away or 10 units away from the origin. After 20 tries, you'd be 20 units away from the... After 400 tries, you'd be 20 units away and so forth. So it would seem like you would be farther and farther away from the origin the more times you toss the coin. So I started tossing it, of course, we don't have an exact accounting of all 500, I started grouping it. After 10, I ended up with 6 tails and 4 heads, so that's 2 units to the left. After 50 tosses, I had 29 heads and 21 tails, so it was 8 units to the right. So after 50 tosses, I was over here, and it looked like the theory seems to be correct. After 100 tosses, I had 53 heads and 47 tails, so it was still 6 units to the right, so it seemed to be falling pretty well what it was supposed to, but then things seemed to go kind of strangely. After 150 tosses, I had 77 heads and 73 tails, I was only 4 units away from the origin. And after 200 tosses, I had 101 heads and 99 tails, and I was almost back where I started, only 2 units away from the origin. So it really looked like that theory of the random walk didn't make any sense. But 200 tosses, even though it's a lot of work, isn't really that many tosses. So as I continued and got up to 250 tosses, I had 122 heads and 128 tails, and now I was 6 units to the left. After 300 tosses, I had 144 heads, 156 tails, and now I have 12 units to the left. After 350 tosses, at 168 heads and 182 tails, I was 14 units to the left. And look at this, after 400 tosses, at 188 heads, 220, 212 tails, and I was 24 units to the left. I was well beyond the predicted number I would expect because when we take the square root of 40, or 400, I should get 20, and I was actually 24 units away from the origin. Then as I continued to toss all the way up to 500, then I was only 16 units away from the origin, but you can see that I was fairly close to a predicted value. It does seem to be the case. You can try this at home. It's kind of fun if you have some time, and you'll see that every time, the more times you toss, on average, the farther away you're going to be from the origin, and it will be like that every single time. All you have to do is toss coins enough times, or use a die for example. If it's, if it's even, go one direction, if it's odd, go the other direction, and again, you will deviate away from the origin if you throw it enough times. Seeing is believing, that's the way it works.